Oh, oh my god, what do I look like? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I look. <sighs> it, I have been put through the ringer, let's put it that way. Um, but first, hello, hi, welcome, guys, to another vlog. I wanted to pick up the camera. Um, it was my plan this whole week was to vlog these next couple of days and basically last night i got zero sleep i went to my friend's event it was a wellness foundry event all good came back home got into bed um my leg was feeling numb then i started getting pins and needles let this airplane it's like taking my moment <laughs> my leg was giving me so much pain last night so much so i couldn't sleep i couldn't get comfortable shooting pains all down my leg googled it early this morning when i finally was like enough is enough um i <laughs> broke up my boyfriend and um we think i've got sciatica like what the hell it is the most painful like i couldn't rest i got up in the night to go and get myself some water so i can have some paracetamol oh my god trying to go down the stairs up the stairs i've never felt pain like it and this is something that pregnant women get and i know i'm not pregnant um and i'm just thinking like what the hell could have caused it so that brings us up today haven't slept i need to put you guys on something because my arm is killing me will this work oh my god i feel like you guys are so crooked you guys are crooked oh, oh my god the pain so yeah i got zero sleep last night i gave myself a line i think i woke up at 11 a.m today um and I have all these events I need to go to that I've like committed to that I actually have appointments for and I just feel so bad that I'm like I should probably still go my boyfriend's like no stay home but it does say that walking is really good for sciatica and obviously ibuprofen because it reduces inflammation. So I'm going to walk to the shops and see how I get on. Walking is kind of okay. I mean, I'm limping. Like, I've got something shoved up my arms. <laughs> That's not so bad, but I am limping so badly. Um, and it's stairs that are currently getting to me. Like, I just can't stat like go upstairs going down i could go one at a time but going up it's like really i have to have two hands and pull myself up i probably shouldn't even be going today but i'm just like you know when like people i just don't like to let people down guys i don't know i really don't know so i just don't know where this vlog is going so uh yeah i just wanted to jump on here and just kind of let you guys know what is going on and if you guys have ever experienced sciatica before it is like a shooting my boyfriend's like where's the pain what's hurting you do some stretches and i was like it's everywhere like it goes right down to like my pelvic kind of bone the back of my knee to my foot my whole leg i get random like pins and needles um i really couldn't get myself comfortable that like, i was trying to sleep on it but it was just so painful um until the very like early hours of the morning i was just like right i can't deal with the pain got up and had paracetamol and i had to wait like a good half an hour 45 minutes before i could even drift off to sleep and that was like when most people were getting up um and that's when i finally could get some wink of shut eyes so yeah welcome to a new vlog guys um i'm delirious because i had nothing to eat and just loads of paracetamol so i should probably eat something have a banana or something um been talking for four minutes now so that's the overview i'm now going to oh my god it's one o'clock i was meant to leave in half an hour it's not gonna happen 
right i'm gonna go charge my phone i'm gonna have a shower see how i feel start walking like using my leg which is meant to be really good for you go maybe take a little short walk see how i get on maybe i'll just have to cancel one of my events today um and let that just be that i've got other work i need to do but like this is just not what I needed. I needed a good night's sleep. I needed to get up this morning and do stuff. And my body is kind of like letting me down. And it's just making me think like, oh my God, I'm getting old. You know, my body's just, I don't know. I need to do something with myself. I need to be more active. Just so this sort of stuff doesn't happen again. Just start stretching more. Maybe start seeing someone from my back. I carry a lot of tension in my back um so maybe that's something i need to focus on but yeah right i'll catch up i'll catch up with you guys in a bit okay guys i am ready one second as i <laughs> try and get down the stairs um the paracetamol has definitely kicked in and i've spoken to my mum who is a nurse and she definitely thinks walking is best for me so staying at home is just gonna make things worse and she also just brought to light a lot of things that i need to um let me just switch that off that i need to you know things brought to light to me that i know i need to take care of my health is number one i need to take care of it i need to be taking my vitamins i need to be be more active I know all of these things and I really need to put it into practice. I'm too young to be getting sciatica and I'm not preggers. So yeah, um, I really need to nip this in the butt, I think. See a doctor, kind of get like a health MOT, check my cholesterol, check some other things. I know I'm iron deficient and so I'm almost relying on sugars like a sugary coffee or a biscuit or a cake just to bring me up and I, actually I think if I had iron I wouldn't be so reliant on sugars so that's the thing need to uptake my water which I'm doing right now um just put you guys in there I'm gonna fill up this bottle to take with me this is something I need to do every single day not forget there's some days I do forget to drink water to take it with me so um yeah i need to get on that asap um just waiting for my phone to charge and then i need to quickly yeah go to boots get some ibuprofen i need to do these nails because the first stop of the day is a manicure appointment with Ol or <laughs> is a manicure appointment with Oli. Why can't I not say that? It's all about, even though my nails are pink, I think they're bringing out this kind of like custom pink line, I want to say. Um, I'll sh tell you more once I get there. So that is my first stop. And then potentially I might squeeze in a fragrance event with Floral Street. Otherwise, I'm going to go straight to my next, which is a cocktail reception with Bouli Fragrances. They're bringing out a new one. L I wish when I get back I'll show you the one that I currently have and obviously the new one I can't go upstairs right now um, so um yeah it's a struggle for me so that is the game plan and yeah packing this just gonna take it easy and slow and walk easy and slow um and hopefully this will get better I just can't go up. it's on my right side and I can't get up the stairs on my right so I'm like having to go on my left and go one step at a time god help me on the uh public transport and getting on the train because it's gonna be fun <laughs>
South Lauren stores getting ready for Wimbledon. Hello my darlings. So I've just made it to my next event. I'm here at the Bully Fragrance launch here in St. James Square, which is absolutely so peaceful and quiet. We're going to a place called the library and never been there before. Sounds very really oldy woldy, like very um old society. Oh my god, is my shoe? Oh. I thought my shoe broke, but no. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. I think the founders are here, so that would be interesting. Um, got my nails done at the event, which you would have seen. And uh, yeah, let's go in. <laughs> Everyone's staring. Here we go the library. So guys, I have made it inside the London Library, and it is a beautiful venue. We have a cheeky cold glass of champagne and the fragrances are behind me now. This is something so different for the brand. It's very earthy, it's very inspired by vegetables and I would say fruits but I think vegetables more so. My favourite is this one. So this is the, I want to say it's the tomato and on the bottle everything just looks so lovely. I don't know, like triple tomatoes? I don't know. And then we have like this rhubarb. I want to say this is rhubarb. Yes, rhubarb. They're all just really, really different. And like the smells are something I haven't tasted before. It's really nice. So, oh, the food is coming out. So I'm going to have a little nibble and yeah, show you guys around. Guys, the smell in here. Look how cool this library is. And this is the new fragrance. I need someone to talk me through it all, but look how beautiful and divine it looks. Absolutely exquisite. And we've got a little drink area. And we've got the view. How? So that's St. James Square. And then look at this absolute exquisite floral display. All my favourite colours. Absolutely <laughs> divine over here. Oh. oh, thank you for being my little model. <laughs> the bottom. Just in the toilets, I thought I'd catch up with you guys while it's quiet up here. Um, it's actually really pretty, these toilets, marble and yeah. Um, gosh, my leg is killing me guys and I still have one more event after this and it's only 18 minutes away so I feel like I should really go. Um, but yeah, the pain, like trying to get up these stairs to use these toilets it killed me. Yeah, it actually killed me. Why did I feel like I was in labor? It was that bad. But um, yeah, I'm gonna stay here for maybe another five minutes and then I'm gonna head off to my next event. And then I think from there, I could potentially walk to Waterloo again. I've gotta see how my leg is doing. Because at the moment, I've had my ibuprofen, just waiting for that to kick in. Uh, Oh, I didn't show you my little outfit of the day. I've had so many compliments on this. It's like an oldie but goodie from Monsoon. It's so breathable and light and comfortable, but you look very well put together. So I don't think they sell this anymore, but I definitely want to get more dresses like this from Monsoon. So if I find any more, then I will um, link them down below because I'll, I'll be buying them myself. <laughs> Mona Lisa. Yes. Okay, great. You say it perfectly, Mona Lisa. That's. the 
it was the old store that I went to and they have a whole new store in South Water Street so I walked in the opposite direction so yeah that sucks so I'm all walked out for today and just sitting down actually feels really good so um, I'm gonna get this to Waterloo East and then from there get a train to where I need to be and um, later um i got home around about 8 30 and uh i just had some dinner sat down for a bit did my laundry <sighs> just trying to get up the stairs and now i'm getting ready for bed so i'm gonna go and take off my makeup um just face this way a moment and kind of just get you caught up on the day um basically i walked all the way to covent garden for an event only to realize when i got there that the event was in south Morton street so safe to say my legs were hurting me my feet are killing me um and i just decided to come home um luckily my boyfriend left me some food so that was all good but it just, it sucks because if I wasn't so, if I didn't, it's an oversight on my part. I wish I didn't because I was so close to the venue anyway. But because I'd walked in the opposite direction, it just wouldn't have happened. So I need to take that as a learning curve and to double check invites and read them, reread them. I just think sometimes, I don't know if I'm dyslexic or because it's happened to me so many times where I've read something and to me it's had a different meaning. So, um, but I haven't been diagnosed or anything, but maybe I should. Um, yeah, so that was unfortunate. I was really looking forward to it because the fragrance place called Floral Street, they were doing a collaboration with the Van Gogh Museum and I love Van Gogh. I have been to the Asylum Salem where he was committed in France. I've been to the Sensory Art Exhibition. I've seen his stuff in Paris. All of my vlogs by the way. So um, it's documented that I really like Van Gogh. Um, and yeah. I don't know. Maybe the PRs will like send me the uh, product. Um, I've also been spending my evening making a Gymshark order. Pretty big. They have so long at the moment. And uh, I've made full use of it. I have just got really old active wear and therefore some of it doesn't fit. Some of it I'm just like, ugh, over it. It doesn't support me in the right way and therefore I'm not work working out. I haven't worked out in years now. So a lot of it is just old. Um, and I just needed a little revamp. And I think sometimes like getting yourself new active wear, when you feel that like you look the part, you feel supported, like I needed some sports bras, you're more like, like I know I'm more likely to work out. At the moment I look and I've got like one pair of leggings from Amazon. I have a few other leggings, um, but they're not, they're from Adenola. For me, I feel like they're more like leisure, um, yoga, not like high intensity workouts or anything that I feel comfortable that I can squat in. And I mean, their sale was pretty good. I got some sports bras for £11, some stuff for, I don't know if you can see, that's my order. Um, some leggings for £22 and I believe they were like £45. Um, I did get this unitard, <laughs> never worn a unitard in my life. Um, and that only had 10% off, so it was £37. But I, I kind of see it as it's a whole one outfit, so yeah. I got that. I am thinking of actually tomorrow going into their head um, head head office store, their flag flagship store 
in Regent Street um because I'm going to be near there tomorrow potentially to check out what they've got there's some sports bras I wanted to get and they weren't in my size so yeah maybe I'll do a haul who knows but I'm trying to look after my health and this sciatica that I'm currently experiencing is giving me the worst pain and speaking to my mum and everyone that I've told which isn't many but they're all like you know you're too young to be experiencing this so and I just need to get my body moving I need to cut down on my sugars and I need to get my ass in gear so that's the first step second step is to up my vitamins and i've got i need to just get them all out and just start taking them maybe i need to get a pill box or something mm, that might work where i've just got them already in their boxes and it's just it'll take the headache away from me so maybe that's what i'll do and then my third step is to get into some sort of routine of um i'm thinking of going swimming every monday and it's something that's quite achievable for me so we have a cleaner that comes every monday and i feel really bad being in the house when she's here because i feel like i'm in the way i'm undoing all of her good work you know i feel like if i go and make myself a cup of tea or anything i'm ruining the kitchen she's worked really hard to clean it so i'm thinking of going swimming on those days in the afternoons you know work up until about midday um so maybe on mondays i'll have breakfast skip lunch and go to uh, go swimming so that is the plan and i'll keep you guys updated that'll probably be in, like next week's vlog of like healthy kickstart trying to be all good um and just also do a lot of self-love for me um like even little things like remembering to put cuticle oil on and doing my face masks and just stuff like that so <laughs> hopefully that makes sense and um, maybe i'll share it i mean we'll probably i'm like learning to do all of this so i will hopefully yeah i'll share it with you guys um maybe in next week's vlog who knows right i'm gonna go take off my makeup now and go to bed because i did not sleep last night because i was in so much pain and hopefully i get a good night's sleep because i'm up again tomorrow i'm in town and i've got a blow dry booked so that should be fun and a wellness like networking thing so actually that is like coming the perfect time maybe i need to split this vlog into two parts i don't know but yeah definitely gonna go to that tomorrow um totally forgot about it oh my god so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning good night Good morning everyone, it is a Friday and yes I am a serial outfit repeater so I wore this outfit yesterday and I'm going to the same place so hopefully the same people are not going to be there but I'm going back to Duck and Dry because I'm getting a blow dry with Pacifica and yeah basically I did got no I got no sleep yesterday and um, this was just easy to throw on so people are staring at me, let's go inside. Here we are. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I've never tried any Pacifica hair care products, but they have this new shampoo and conditioner range, which I think is called the Coco Peptide. And I thought I really wanted to check it out before I try my whole like scalp journey and using only one pure product. So yeah, let's go in. Hopefully no one will realize I'm wearing the same outfit apart from you guys, but we're like best buds, so it's okay.
Hey guys, I have just finished with my hair at Duck and Dry. It is super bouncy and super soft. I'm so impressed at the softness that I'm getting with these products and there's no silicon in there. So usually silicon is what gives you that softness, but there's none in here. So I definitely think it's the coconut in the hair product, the coconut milk. And uh, yeah, absolutely love it. So next stop, I need to go to East London now for a wellness like networking event. And like I said, I'm on this wellness journey. So I'm really looking forward to going and learning more and hopefully getting some tips that I can actually incorporate in my everyday busy life. So I'll see you guys on the other side. So I just dropped off a vintage parcel and now walking to get the Elizabeth line. And I just forget how, oh, dust went in my eye. Oh. Um, I forget how lovely Bond Street round here is. It's so nice and it feels like it's about to rain. Lovely. so guys i am back home excuse the state of me i'm embarrassed and i'm in shock have a little friend there have a little friend there living rent free on my face right now fun times um so yeah what I need to catch you guys up on. Right, I need to pay a parking ticket. <laughs> lovely. Um, done at my skincare. Had a lovely evening. Had dinner. Last time I checked in with you guys was at the Be Creators event, which was actually really nice. It was really great to speak to the people at LTK um, and just find out more about their platform, which I do use um, their platform for links to stuff that you guys obviously want to buy, which isn't an ad, but you know, I make a little bit of coin on it. Um, and then spoke to the people at Meta, at Facebook and Instagram which was really great to kind of like just dig their brain about you know what's going on um came home and then me and my boyfriend decided we are gonna go to the tennis tomorrow so we have booked to go to Boodles at tennis at tomorrow so I feel like I might just do a whole separate vlog starting and maybe like showcasing my day like makeup outfit although you're kind of getting a little sneaky peek of my outfit which is on the door um which was kindly sent to me by lipsy but i have another option so it really does depend tomorrow like what i'm feeling um it's the first time i'm going to boodles tennis we are going to drive there and it's meant to be a really lovely day out lots of tennis jewelry obviously you guys know the boodles the brand it's like very prestigious jewelry house so i get to see you know a bit of diamonds a bit of bling and have some cocktails in the sunshine tomorrow's actually meant to be a really lovely day as well um so yeah um what else do i need to catch you guys up on i think that is everything um my camera is flashing so just wanted to say thank you so much guys for watching this week's vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up and come back to this channel for a boodles tennis day in the life vlog i might just do it should I do it as a weekend? I don't know. You're just going to have to come back and watch it. And I think that's it. Anything else? No.
that's it. Good night, guys, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.